All right, guys, welcome back. I am Stunlock, and this is a little more Little Misfortune. We were last tasked with crossing the road. Sounds easy enough. What the? What? I saw a monster. What monster? I didn't see anything. It was there. I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. <laughs> we'll have so much fun. All right. <laughs> okay, so it seems like we just got a peek into the netherworld. The upside down. Let's take care of this. It's raven with some glitter. Look, a sleepy bird. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go now. This guy who is uh, narrating, he's not on our side. And whoever that was, that monster, neither is he. <laughs> it almost seems like she has bad luck. Oh, I see. So this is the official intro we're getting. Nice. It's almost like she has a power. Like this is, she's not normal. Why is she like this? Why can she do these things? Huh, I used a little sparkle back there. Anyway, where are we? I don't know. Park? Look, there's a puppy. Hello puppy, <laughs> what a cute party hat. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. All right. All right, we can play with it or set it free. I'm going to play with it because if I set it free and I know this game, it's going to get hit by that bus back there. So let's just uh, let's just play with it. I will play with it. So we can share a nice time together. Good choice. Now throw the ball at it. What ball? This ball. Oh, this is a setup. Ah, that ball. Okay. <laughs> this is a setup. I can smell it. Oh. <laughs> okay. What? Puppy! Jesus Christ. <laughs> what did I do? It's all broken now. Mr. Voice, everything I touch breaks. What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Sometimes life is just unfair. But I'm here for you. Really? Thank you. Well, sadly, the puppy will miss the party now. What party? The owner of this dog, George, is having a party. I think you have to go and tell him about the accident. What accident? Ah, uh, yes, the puppy, yes. Let's go. It's just a bit farther ahead. All right. All right, let's uh, let's look around uh, here. Red ball puppy killer. <laughs> red ball puppy killer. I'm sorry I broke you, puppy. I really am. Maybe we can play later. You know, when I'm broken too. Oh, that's sweet. That had to be the goofiest looking puppy I've ever seen. The party hat as a symbol of our friendship, puppy doggy. Okay, so now we have a party hat. What do you I guess this is gonna come up later. It says no dogs allowed. Oh really. Is that what I think it is? Yep. Oh no, I step on doggy doo. 
<laughs> Why? Oh, sweet. I can see my footprint. Oh, Jesus. Let's see what came out. I see a lot of glitter and... Is that rice pudding? <laughs> I can't watch this anymore. Please, let's keep moving. You know it's bad when the narrator is getting grossed out. What language is that? It looks... Nordic? Like, uh... I don't know, Swedish or something? I have no idea. But it looks... Yeah, it does look kind of Nordic. That sign doesn't work. Do you see all the crap lying around? That's a good observation, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. So, Miss Fortune, at the other side of this lake, you will be one step closer to the prize of eternal happiness. And a party, right? Ah, yes. That too. Eternal happiness can mean a lot of things. I would want a strict definition. You know, once at this lake, I got my head stuck in a plastic bag. I remember falling asleep and waking up in the hospital. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, I almost died. Good grief. <laughs> okay. Why? Uh, what's happening? I think you're in big trouble, Miss Fortune. Yeah, tell me about it. Where are these birds taking me? I have no idea, but you have to do something about it, fast. Kick him in the balls or throw glitter. Let's throw glitter because you cannot kick a bird in the balls. Okay, my glitter is shiny. So if I throw glitter at the birds, they will only see shiny. And they will get confused and leave me alone. That sounds like a solid plan, Miss Fortune. Alright, here I go. <laughs> Ah yes, ravens, one of my favorite animals. <laughs> this is taking a long time. This game is too much. We didn't even go that high up. Well, time seems to slow down when we are in danger. Am I in danger? Hey look, a bird! Hello, birdie! Is that a bird flipping the bird? Oh, that was a rude bird. I just love how so many just completely random things happen in this game. Oh, why didn't I break my legs and die? Uh, you seem very good at falling. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. So, Mr. Boys? Is the party on the same way to the eternal happiness? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, that's convenient. Have you thought about how to break the news to George? About the puppy? Yes. I mean, if you want to. Uh, I think it is the right thing to do to tell George about the demise of his puppy. Yes, of course. That's the least I can do for the sweet puppy. That is very brave of you, Miss Fortune. Thank you. What is this, the Jersey Shore? Jesus. Oh, look, a boat. Hello. Are we there yet? Just a little bit farther away. Ah, okay. That's a whole lot of trash. Wait, what? Ah, uh... oh, a fish. What should we do about it? We're gonna release it. Release it. I would like to return it. It smells fishy. Oh, you know what? Nah, we should have kept it, right? Bye bye, fishy. Fish. Might be able to use it later. Distract a giant cat or something, I don't know. Okay, so. Where are we? 
This appears to be George's house. And here we are, the house of George. I'm a bit nervous about introducing myself. You'll do fine. You're brave telling the truth about the puppy. <laughs> Stop it. I'm doing it for the puppy, you know. <laughs> Let's ring the bell. Why would that matter? Nobody's answering. I'll invite myself in. Time to check out the party. Okay, so we got a dead fish. I saw a man who was floating in the lake. Just like this fishy. I wonder if we could have put the other fish in there. Probably too big. Ah, oh, what a nice picture. I wish I had a picture like this with my mommy and daddy. <laughs> what the frig? Hello? What is it, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Is that the kid? That was the kid in the picture, wasn't it? Are you sure this is the right house? Where is the party? Hello? Excuse me, are you George? What? Are you the owner of a puppy? Because I bring really bad news. Oh no, wait. It looks like he hung himself. Hung himself? Like a piñata? Should I hit him like a piñata? No, misfortune. He's dead. Dead? But he's wearing a pair of sweet boots. He, he can't be dead. Yeah, this game is covering every single possible base. Oh, okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, I think this party's over. Let's leave. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. I like the puppy. Bye. Shadam! Happiness to George the Piñata! <laughs> I have to be more uh, careful. I almost missed that one. Okay, I'm here now. Let's go into the woods and get that eternal happiness. Yes. All right, a walk in the woods. What kind of craziness is going to happen here? the woods with the trees and the birds and the animals dangerous animals misfortune you might run into a fox a fox like benjamin yes but all foxes are evil so keep your eyes open uh, all right you can't just go around saying all foxes are evil You know what? He's he doesn't like the fox. It makes me think the fox is the good guy. Huh? What's this? A doll? Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Interesting. I'll keep it. Hey, what do you have there? Nothing. Okay, that effigy had horns, antler horns, just like the Stay back, monster. <gasps> what is it? A wild, dangerous fox. Wait, I recognize that black tail. It's Benjamin. It doesn't matter. Attack it before it kills you. No, nah, I don't think Benjamin will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, is your name Benjamin? Do you want to play with me? Oh no, don't go! Oh... <sighs> what a relief. We are safe now. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. There's a magical cave nearby. You need to find it. A magical cave? Okay. <laughs> so did Benjamin make the effigy? I think that may be the case. <gasps> It looks like Benjamin likes to paint. That's pretty cool. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Focus, Miss Fortune. We need to keep going. Uh, okay. I like that in a fox. <sighs> Is 
the narrator seems like he's in a bit of a rush. All right, what is this? Falling rocks and a chalk outline. Not good. Oh, is this the magical cave? It doesn't look that magical. Just wait until you go inside. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I have a question. What does this sign mean? Oh, I don't know. Sparkles? Ah, cool. So, whenever you're ready. This is a death trap. Wait, we can choose not to go into the cave. I'll just stay in the forest. But then you won't find the eternal happiness. Oh, okay. Does that mean there's another option? Or is that just one of those are you ready to leave this area prompts? I'll just stay in the forest. But then you won't. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on, let's... Let's go back. Yeah, I want to take a look at this. One more time. Yeah, the two guys on the outside have horns. They're different from the ones on the inside. I wonder if that's the guy, the, the monster. It's like the effigy. So the fox might be an enemy of the, of the monster. That's my guess. And I'm guessing that paint can is not actually paint. All right, so I, yeah, I think we have to go through this cave. And this is definitely a death trap. He's trying to kill us. Enter. Ah, oh, I can't <laughs> wait to see the magic inside. This cave is huge! Echo! <laughs> well, let's explore the cave. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. That was no echo. It was me. You're a real comedian, Miss Fortune. Thank you. I think this game works so well because she's such an innocent in this really dark dark universe what in the what world that? what did i miss something i'm not sure was that what i thought it was a miniature car what's this the hamster party a magical hamster party oh jesus I know you love parties do i <laughs> can we go inside i don't know let's go find out yeah, I don't think we can go inside because, you know, Kappa. Oh, hamster fight! Are you going to do something about it? Well, let's end the violence. Right? Don't fight, you adorable things. You have to kiss and make up. <laughs> there you go. That hamster was. Oh, please, sweetie, don't go. You dropped something. That hamster was all about that life. Oh, are those means? Maybe I should try one so I can keep my breath fresh. I'm a little lady, you know. Yeah, those aren't mints. Oh my God, she's taking it. Wow. I'm oh no. Really nice. Oh Jesus. Who are those other kids? Okay, that was a that was a trip, obviously, but it looks like it had some meaning to it. And I'm into refreshment at all. <laughs> Are you all right, Miss Fortune? I'm okay.
This is incredible. Excuse me, who the little lady get inside? No, I'm not very important, you say? Okay. Can you believe this guy, Mr. Voice? We have to find another way out now. <laughs> Oh my god. These tiny cutie cars are killing me with their cuteness. <laughs> so cute. There's nothing to sprinkle over Look here. Look at them. With their tiny cocktails and their tiny clothing. This is too cute for me. Wait, I think I... Did I get everything? What's over here? Check that lady out. I think she's in trouble. Oh no, I think I recognize her. She's the owner of the club back there. Really? Yes, looks like she was robbed. Oh, I bet it was that hamster with the black mask. Yes, you're right. Looks like you helped the criminal escape. Oh, damn it. Does that mean I'm a criminal too? Of course it does. Oh, really? <laughs> Please don't tell me. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. All right, so Grammy Ham Grammy Hamster over here, she runs the joint. She got robbed by. Excuse me, do you need assistance? I guess no? not. Okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, we need to find a way out now. The eternal happiness is still out there. Okay, I'll look around. So if we were to not break up the hamster fight, then we get the purse back and give it to Grammy. I wonder what this button does. <laughs> Another bounce. <laughs> Good job, Miss Fortune. You found the way out. <laughs> Thank you. I love the way she says fancy. Um... Here we go again with this. I guess we're gonna... I'll just hang around. Let's take one more look. I'm always paranoid about missing something. Oh wait, we didn't do this. X, X, X. <laughs> Talk about crazy. Yeah, I guess that's it. We saw everything else here. All right, let's leave. I think I've seen enough of this uh, hamster hangout. Climb the ladder. Stop. Well, I recognize that word. World speed. You gotta be kidding me. This looks just like a movie I saw on TV. These are the bad guys, I'm telling you. I think you're right. We need to clear the way before we can proceed. But how? You see that fire alarm over there? We need to activate it. Yeah, but how? With a slingshot. What slingshot? This slingshot. Ah, that's <laughs> Okay. So we have to get past a gang of oh, squirrels. Look, I use these acorns as ammunition. That's really clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> I know, thank you. In a speed lab. And why are they human sized? Alright, what are we doing here? We gotta hit. I wanna hit this guy. Oh, I see. Okay. You can move it up and down and change the trajectory and the power. Oopsie. <laughs> it's kind of fun, actually. That was close. Okay, yeah. Almost I there. I know I'm supposed to be hitting the alarm, but uh, this is just too much fun. Just one more. Did I hit it? I want to hit him in the nugget. 
Bang. Oh, damn it. Bingo. Takes forever. I like the fact that they don't respond to being hit by acorns Ouch. out of nowhere. Oops. All right, let's get Did serious. Let's get serious. Let's hit this. Uh... Oh, too high. Too much power. A little lower. Oh, we're getting closer. Oh, sorry. Almost. Yes. The squirrel gangsters have evacuated. We did it. Well done, Miss Fortune. Yay. <laughs> Does that say wound face? Squirrel spin? Mm, <laughs> <laughs> the way she says fancy. This looks like the science project Daddy has in the basement. I don't know why, but Mommy was really angry about it. Oh man, that's just... Her parents are terrible. That's a lot of cash. Is this the eternal happiness? Oh no, what makes you think that? Mommy said that money is the only thing that makes her happy. Well. Your mommy is wrong. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. I've seen enough of this. Giant squirrel gangsters. Okay, we are out of the sewers. Hey, you, on the other side of the screen. Yeah. Listen. I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will misfortune really die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. No, you don't fool me. <laughs> oh, misfortune, you made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are we? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry. It's not far from here. Great. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to take a break here. We'll pick it up in the next episode. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.